Hello and welcome back to Little Chef Arisha's channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a shami kebab. And in my past videos, I made a chicken chapli kebab and a agu tiki. If you want to watch those recipes, they're in the link in the description box below. And without wasting any time, let's begin our recipe. The ingredients we're going to need one cup of chana dal and I soaked them into two cups of water for two hours and I'm going to use the same water to boil my kebab. You're also going to need two pound chicken kima, one and a half teaspoon salt, one tablespoon red chili powder, one teaspoon turmeric powder, one tablespoon cumin seeds, one teaspoon garam masala, one tablespoon cor coriander powder, one egg, a half cup of cilantro, a half onion that I roughly chopped, six to seven garlic cloves, one tablespoon ginger, and four green chilies that I cut in half. That's it for the ingredients. Now let's start by making our kebabs. The first step is to boil our chicken kima, our dal, along with our dry spices and our onion, our garlic cloves, and our ginger. And now I'm going to put them into a pot and I'm going to boil it for 30 minutes. Here I am in the kitchen and into a pot I have added all of my ingredients with the two cups of water except for my green chili, my egg and my cilantro and now I'm going to boil it for 30 minutes. So guys, it's been 30 minutes and as you can see, my water is dry and my chicken kima and my chana dal is cooked and now I'm going to transfer it into a plate and I will let it cool down for 20 to 25 minutes. So guys, it's been 20 minutes and my chicken kima is cooled down. And now I'm going to process my chicken kima with my green chili and my cilantro into a food processor. And now I'm going to process it. So I put my chicken kima, my cilantro, and my green chilies, and now I'm going to process it. Now my kebab mixture is ready and I'm going to put my egg in it and I'm going to mix it and then I will shape it into kebab shapes and then I will show you how it looks. So guys, I shaped my kebabs and now I'm going to put them in the freezer for 30 minutes so they could settle down and then I will fry it. So guys, it's been 30 minutes and here I am in the kitchen and into a separate pot I have added oil that is on a medium flame and now I'm going to fry my kebabs. And guys, please be careful with the stove because I have my mom standing right next to me. Now I'm going to fry my kebabs until they turn golden brown and then I will flip it to cook the other side. Now that my shami kebab is ready, I'm going to show you how it looks. See how delicious it looks? And now I'm going to try it. It's so good. I hope you guys liked today's delicious recipe. If you did, let me know in the comment section down below. And guys, you must try this recipe at home. It's so delicious. And don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave a thumbs up on this video, and don't forget to share my videos with friends and family. Bye. Thank you for watching my recipe.